All right, Dave, fresh off a big win over the New York Giants, who can't the Seahawks hang with? That is a great question. And really, if you look around, you know, just the rest of their schedule, um, the, the one team I think is, is really good is San Francisco. Uh, they don't have the record that reflects it for whatever reason. They got beat by two touchdowns in Atlanta. But, um, you know, they, they beat the Rams pretty good. And I, the way, I mean, it, it just goes every week. And I'm finally to the point where I'm like, yes, they can hang with every team. Uh, two things, Gino, the way that he's playing right now. And then the other thing is, I think the run defense is for real. I think you can say they have fixed it because if you look at the last three games, Arizona is where they really fixed it. They gave up 144 yards in that game, but 100 of it was Kyler Murray. So, and to me, Kyler Murray wants to run outside. He does not want to run inside. And we've seen over the last few years, there was an open field sack by Rasheem Green Rasheem Green is like a 280 pound guy, and he was able to, to tackle Kyler Murray, sack him actually, because Kyler Murray wants to go outside. Same thing in 2020 when KJ Wright, there was like a read option, and he just stayed outside. So I think if they can control that coming up this week, but if you look at the other, um, the other performances, around 75, 80 yards that they held the Giants to, which they were rushing for 172, a game and then there was uh, the 53 yard performance against the Chargers so I, I think they officially have that fix and by the way that averages out to about 90 92 yards per game that would be number two or number three in the NFL against the run right now so I don't think they're gonna get back maybe they'll get back in the top 10 if they keep with these performances under a hundred but it's gonna take a while because of the first few weeks where they really uh, were not good against the run. But, you know, Geno Smith, the run defense, the rookies are playing well. I think they can pretty much hang with anyone. We'll see about, you know, the big, the, the toughest game on their schedule by far is at uh, Kansas City on, on Christmas Eve. All right, you brought up Geno Smith. He's obviously a big reason why the Seahawks are where they are right now. Who's playing better than him at quarterback in the NFC right now? In the NFC, um, maybe Jalen Hurts. Um, Tom Brady has only one interception, but and he's got a lot of yards. But he's, you know, their their team. They're not playing great right now. Um, the only two quarterbacks with a better passer rating are in the AFC, and it's Patrick Mahomes, and right now it's Tua. Uh, so that's you know he's number one in completion percentage, which I always and probably said this 50 times, but. I look at completion percentage and interceptions because that's about decision making. And we're gonna do a football one-on-one -on -one today on, uh, on Gino and about the decisions. And there was a couple of situations where he didn't throw the ball and just, just great decision making. So as far as that goes and the way he's playing, it's kind of like the team in general. Like, can you say Gino Smith is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFC? Yes, yes you can. Uh, that completion percentage right now, He's a pro bowler, unless, you know, people don't vote for him because they hadn't heard of him or they think it's a fluke, but it's ridiculous. Uh, three interceptions, um, Brady has one, Jalen Hurts has two in the NFC, and there's a bunch with three. Um, he is in, I mean, we're, we're talking about a guy who's playing as good as anybody. And we used to say this about Russell Wilson all the time, whenever we do his, his stats, is that it was always like, Drew Brees, uh, Peyton Manning, uh, Dan Marino, that's the company he keeps stat-wise right now, and not as far as you know career stats, but the way that, they're play that he's playing right now, he's as good as anyone. He's as good as Mahomes, uh, Brady, Aaron Rodgers, right now, the way that he's playing. And I think that this is who he is. I think this is what we're gonna get the rest of the year. All right, so flipping over to the defense, Uchenna Nwosu has already tied his career high in sacks for this year through eight games. He's been incredible. They signed him in free agency. Just how good of a pickup has that been, and what does he mean to that defense? He's meant everything. I mean, he, he's a great leader. You talked about the sacks. He was behind a couple of really good pass rushers with the Chargers, uh, one of them being Joey Bosa. So, and he's got over 50 sacks in his career. So I think, you know, he learned behind those guys and now he's just turning it loose. There's a couple of other little things that I really like about Uchenna and it's his nastiness and his leadership. Um, the other day, he had a really good play drawing their offensive line 
uh, in, you know, drew them into a, a false start. And what he did is he went down the line, made like a sudden move down the line and got the, the tackle to jump. So he didn't encroach, but yet he did a little quick movement to kind of get the guy off sides. And then he did this for about 30 seconds in the guy's face. <laughs> and that's what I like about him. I mean, he's just got a nastiness. He's, um, you know, you saw how he played against the Chargers. He had a little bit of an edge there. You saw at the end of the, the Saints game with the kneel down and he wasn't having it. He's like, I'm going full speed. You better buckle up. There was a, another time where he hit Jimmy Garoppolo right when he came in the game after Trey Lance got hurt and uh, smoked him. And then he got, got up and talked some noise to him. I kind of like that. I like that kind of uh, leadership and that nastiness. So, you know, the stats also, he's very good in the run game and the way they're playing up front is, uh, is I think, really good for, for his game. All right, last one for you, Dave. Let's look ahead to this week's matchup. Seahawks going down to Arizona to face off with the Cardinals. Cardinals got DeAndre Hopkins back, star receiver, and he's probably going to be lined up quite a bit against the Seattle's star rookie, Tariq Woolen. Can you talk a little bit about that matchup ahead of Sunday? Tariq Woolen has passed every test that uh, that they've given him and just really tight coverage. You know, we were asked this yesterday on the show, me and Mike Lefko, and I don't think DeAndre Hopkins beats you. I think they're good enough to beat the Cardinals, but he, he the last two games since he's been back, he's been targeted 27 times and he's had over 100 yards receiving. So to say he's not going to be a concern and a factor uh, is is crazy, but you I don't think he can beat this defense single-handedly. Kyler Murray still has to get the ball to him. Kyler Murray throws kind of a tailing sinker ball a little bit every once in a while when he gets people around his feet. And I think if you can get to him also, Uchenna, you know, guys like Big Al Woods, maybe all of a sudden his eyes start to come down a little bit and he's not able to find Hopkins. The Seahawks have had pretty good success in that building down there. So um, I, I think he's really good. It will be a, a very good test for him and, and the rookies, but I don't think that DeAndre Hopkins beats you. So, but it'll be an interesting matchup. He'll probably get schooled a couple times, <laughs> Tariq Woolen will, but he's learning as it goes along. Something interesting happened after the last time they played the Cardinals. I don't think Buda Baker, and I don't know, it was one of their other really good corners. Tariq was being interviewed down on the field by Jen Mueller uh, during the broadcast, and they were kind of hanging around, and you could tell they didn't know Tariq, but they wanted to come up and talk to him and kind of say, hey, Rook, you're, you look really good on film, man, keep it up. And I thought that was really cool because he is one of those guys, that, that's one of the hardest, I mean, you're facing guys like DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, you know, and over the you know, history of the NFL, you're facing, you know, Jerry Rice, Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, you're facing the most athletic uh, players on the team and he's running the routes for them. You know, and that's the, the other thing about the four interceptions, the quarterback's not throwing the ball to you. So he's got to put his, himself in a position to, to make those plays, and he really has to run a better route than the receiver does in order to make them. And he's been doing that, so it'll be really fun to watch that matchup.